thank you for coming back for the last part of the <coughs> excuse me of the Elizabethan Bethan, my apologies rough tutorial okay so now we have this beautiful S shape or figure eight whichever you'd like we have the patterns we want on the bottom we have everything ready for it to be made now this and I just realized on my little girl this could either be a rough a plate type of rough like this or it can be a standing rough whichever you choose the last thing we're going to do is you're going to want to cut two of these pieces of fabric you want to want the length of the neck plus one kind of like the measurement you made to measure out the rough in the first place but as I said you just want the length of the neck plus one now you take that you lay the rough as flat as you can and you put the you place the fabric on either side of the rough which you choose and make sure like about I want to say a half of an inch is sticking out on each side like that and what I like to do is I like to pin it to where it's gonna go it might damage the the grow screen a little bit but this parts gonna be hidden anyway so once again following the same stitching line you're gonna do the same and you want to start about a quarter of an inch half an inch away from the edge same in out in out pattern as before and eventually you'll get after you're done with this this side you'll repeat on the other side except you will place another piece of fabric on top and when you're done sewing both of them on top you on top of each other then you turn it inside out so it gets folded over and eventually what you're going to be going after is that now what I've done here is I've added a little hook and eye so that way shave my face for a little bit I know I'm beautiful so that way when you go to put it on all you gotta do is connect it together that way if you have multiple doublets or something else you would like it to be on like any other outfit you don't have to worry about oh my goodness I gotta make 50 million roughs for each one of my doublets no what this is done and this is just a personal preference thing personally I plan I have a lot of doublets and I do a lot of different kind of outfits and I prefer to have one thing so I don't have to repeat myself over and over again so as I said there's a you can do hook and eye you can do you can make it a little bit longer so you overlap and do the hook and eye on the inside it's whatever you're choosing but the effect you're going for with this rough is just the standing up the nice little figure eight and I don't have a doublet that's clean right now to try it on because unfortunately emit and unfortunately I with a mug of beer that spilled on but make like this is a doublet with a standing collar what you're gonna want as I showed you on the page with the standing effect like that with the collar it just peeks over the collar a little bit all right well I hope this video series was informative and it helps you if you have any questions please email me at Wallen Creations at gmail.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. God save the good sirs and madams.